it's all on my own Almost glad to be alone Until love came in On time Oh, on time Loving you Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here today If you're new to my channel, welcome to Force of Nature Today I'm super excited because yesterday I posted on my Instagram Asking you guys to leave questions about sex, relationships, love, sexual orientation and pretty much things of that matter. So today I'm going to be answering those questions for you guys while I repot my plants. I thought that that would be pretty fun. You know, it's long overdue. A lot of my plants need to be repotted. So I figured why not repot some plants and just answer like questions. So if you guys are interested in seeing me repot some plants today and answer some questions about sex, love, and relationships, then please keep watching. So this is my yucca for those of you who haven't seen it already. If you haven't been able to tell already, this thing has grown like crazy since I first got it. So I'm going to be potting my yucca plant in here. I am absolutely in love with this. It's just beautiful. I adore it. I actually got this from my grandmother. I thought that was pretty great that she decided to give this to me as it's probably something that's sentimental to her. So I thought that was so sweet. But this is what I'm going to be putting my yucca in you guys. Let's get to the part that you're really here for. The questions. Let's see. So first question I got is... How can you reconnect with your partner sexually? This is a tough one because everyone is different, you know, everyone has like different preferences and different things they like to do. And in my opinion, okay, so this is going to sound kind of hypocritical because I haven't tried it yet myself, but I've heard of it and I've wanted to try it. Tantric yoga. If you haven't tried tantric yoga yet, tantric yoga is something that can pretty much help you and your partner connect or reconnect or rekindle that energy that you guys may have lost with each other. It's just a way to get very intimately close with one another and basically balance out your energies, sort of like yin and yang to become one. It's a practice that has been used for quite some time. I think that doing things like that that are intimate with your partner and you know, getting close with them and stuff is just, it's important. So first I'm gonna be taking this and adding some soil in there. It's gonna be very messy because my soil's way over here, you guys. Uh, should probably move it closer. So I've got some grade A soil right here. Basically, like I was saying before about the tantric yoga, I've always wanted to try it with a partner. I wish I had, you know, someone who would do it with me. There are other ways you can connect with your partner. My thing is, if you feel disconnected from them at all, I think that it's best to have a talk with them about your connection and why you feel that it's been disconnected and why you feel like, you know, like it's no longer what it used to be. Let them know that you're feeling things are a bit disconnected and that you want to rekindle a little bit and maybe suggest tantric yoga. Tantric yoga is definitely a good first starter for that sort of thing. Anyways, so I've got some soil in here. So I'm going to be grabbing my yucca from the base. All right, look at those beautiful roots she's got going on. Anyways, so the next question I got, to see really quick is how deep is sex in my opinion the thing is sex can go one of two ways it can either be deep or it could be fun and quick everyone has different preferences some people like the whole you know one time thing and some people like polygamous relationships it's all about your preference sex in my opinion is super sacred but it doesn't have to be it doesn't always have to be you know it doesn't have to be something that you feel you can't have fun with the thing is i feel that sex is a sacred thing with your partner but there are people who have kinks there are people who have certain likes that they like people who like doing certain things that don't involve you know being all lovey-dovey and stuff it just all depends on the situation you know what i mean like if you like to have casual sex go for it well, I'm really tired, but I'm editing. But anyways, you guys, I forgot to say to always be safe and always use condoms. Of course, like if you're married, whatever, uh, you know, monogamous, whatever it may be, I think that people should be able to do what they want with their bodies and that other people shouldn't judge that. For those of you who don't know, by the way, I like to keep crystals in my plants because it helps them transmit really good energy and keeps them just, you know, growing, especially quartz. Quartz, you know... A lot of you know that quartz is like really good for absorbing negative energy. So next question is, how do you let go completely in order to become yourself and be able to, you know, sort of give yourself to your partner without feeling shy, I'm assuming is what she meant when she asked that. It takes a while, honestly. When you have a connection with a person, it has to be like, it doesn't have to be sacred when it comes to sex. But if you want to connect with them in that way, 
for instance, like say that you want to have like, you know, a deep connection when it comes to sex, you have to communicate that to your partner. You want them to know that your goal is to connect with them on a deeper level because some people aren't aware of that. Some people, you know, some people are just looking for casual sex. Some people aren't looking for anything super serious. So when it comes to things like that, you want to make sure that you're communicating these things. It usually all comes down to yourself. If you want to have that connection with a person, look within and realize that maybe they already think you have that connection. You know, maybe maybe in their mind, you're already connected that way sir sacredly the whole point of the question that she was asking is how do you i guess basically get the confidence to submit yourself to them basically submit as in like feel comfortable to where during sex or during that time of you know sharing energy or whatever she's basically asking how to get the confidence to do whatever without feeling insecure about yourself honestly my opinion like for me this is just personally for me but I am a very sexual creature, it's our human nature, but when I want to do something that I really want to do, I just go for it. Not everyone does, but I do, you know, it, and I'm not gonna lie, it takes me time sometimes. It really does. It's, it's going to take time. That's something that's sacred and it's really hard to get in that comfort zone. I just feel personally that if you're open enough to giving yourself to that person sexually in general and getting comfortable and having sex with them, then you should be comfortable enough to do whatever because sex is a sacred thing and you shouldn't just hand it over to just anyone. So basically my point is, if you are trying to get that confidence, I think that if you are already past the point where you're letting them have sex with you and you know connecting in that way and it's gotten that intimate, you should be able to do whatever because if you are able to let them you know, get that sort of connection out of you, then you shouldn't be shy. You shouldn't be afraid to do what it is you want to do because that's something sacred. If you're having sex with a person and you feel uncomfortable and afraid to try new things, then you probably shouldn't be having sex with that person because that means that the, the connection isn't deep enough to be at that level of, you know, intimacy anyways. You know, don't get me wrong, I've had insecurities during sex and that's when you realize, hey, this isn't the person I should be having sex with. We don't have a connection deep enough to be doing something like this on this level of intimacy. You should be able to give yourself to that person and just fully submerge yourself in their love. I just think that sexual energy is something that doesn't have to be, you know, for one person. Polygamous relationships are awesome i'm all for them if you're you know if you feel that you're open enough to do something like that but in general if you have that connection with a person and you have gotten to the point where you can you know on that level of intimacy where you're having sex with them you should be able to do whatever you feel comfortable with but if you don't feel comfortable i also want to know that if you don't feel comfortable doing something with someone you know also address that with them because you shouldn't feel as if you have to do something just because that person wants to do it. We're here to love our partners and feel comfortable with our partners. And I just don't think that you should feel that way. I don't think that you should feel that, you know, you need to get that sort of connection with the person and can't. If you're feeling that way, you shouldn't be having sex with that person. All right, next question. Have I tried tantric sex or yoga? No, I have not. I answered that semi in the beginning. Like I said before, I really would love to have a partner that would do something like that with me. Unfortunately, I haven't found anyone who would do something like that. So yeah, I mean, my opinion on tantric yoga, I freaking love the thought of it. I love the thought behind it. Everything about it is great. And I think that everyone should try it if you do have a partner who's willing to try something like that with you. Yoga is such an amazing connection between people. And there are so many intimate energies that come with it when you're doing it with a partner. So it's something that I recommend, but it's definitely something I haven't tried yet. I repotted my majesty palm yesterday. I decided that I wasn't going to do that on camera because the thing is huge and it's like, it's just, no. The part about repotting plants that I think is so fun is when you're like listening and you can just hear the water like seep through the soil. It almost sounds like it's like cracking. It sounds like pop rocks. I just love that sound. So the yuca plant's done. Next question. My boyfriend keeps making me feel as if I have to do everything he wants. I feel too much pressure. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. First of all, your boyfriend needs to back off. Don't make your girlfriend feel pressured. 
and vice versa. Don't make your boyfriend feel pressured. When it comes to sex, let's say you're in a relationship with someone who really likes sex and they're comfortable and they're confident with their body. If you are with someone like that and you know that you don't have that confidence, in my opinion, before you do anything, you should talk to them about sex in general. When you're in a relationship, before you even get to the level of having sex with your partner, having a talk about sex is honestly important. And I know it sounds awkward and stupid. Honestly, talking about it first will get you in that confidence zone. Basically, if you communicate to them what makes you uncomfortable, what you do like, and you know, things like that, and things that you're willing to try, whatever. If you communicate that with them and they have, you know, that understanding of what it is that you like and what you don't like, they have, they'll be able to know how to sort of integrate what it is that you do like and keep out what you don't like. That's also another thing you need to communicate. If your partner is pressuring you into doing something you don't want to do, let them know. You know, let them know that you're uncomfortable and that you don't want to do that thing because we shouldn't have to do things we don't want. To. It's not okay and it's just uncomfortable. So I'm going to start filling this pot with soil. I'm going to scooch a little closer while I'm filling this one. Okay, so another question I got, which was obviously like a main question that I should have answered in the first place. How do I feel about the difference between sex and love? What is the difference and is there a difference? Take things with a grain of salt because these are my opinions and tips, my own opinions and tips. So in my opinion, sex is definitely sacred. It doesn't have to be though. Like I said before, sex doesn't have to be something that's sacred. Sex can definitely be something that's fun and casual. That's the thing, the difference between sex and love. Sex is casual, you know, sex is more casual. Sex is something that a lot of people do casually, especially these days. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna be pulling this fern out. She's looking a little sad because her roots aren't saturated in dirt. Okay, gonna set her there. I'm really sad because I have these gardening gloves. They're so cute. They have like little veggies on them, but I literally can't find the other one. The thing is when you are having sex with people in general, any person, it doesn't matter who it is, when you have sex with people, you are transmitting your sexual, your energy to that person. You know what I mean? You're literally transmitting that energy to that person. Every time you have sex with a person, you carry a part of that person with you, which I know is kind of disheartening to hear because it's like, I want to carry sexual energy from my ex, but that's a connection. That's a, a whole other level of connection. If you feel like a person is taking advantage of you also, that's another thing I want to throw out there before I get in depth about anything else. If you feel like you're being taken advantage of during sex, stop. <sighs> sex is just something that you should feel comfortable doing. You shouldn't feel not loved, in my opinion. Unless you're just someone who's having casual, casual sex, of course, obviously, do your thing, have fun. But if you're having sex with a person and you are expecting to feel a connection and you're expecting to feel loved and honored and like nurtured during that time, and you, they don't make you feel that way, they don't deserve your body. So something you guys have all been literally waiting to hear. I'm pansexual, for those of you who don't know. I don't like specific genders. I actually like people for who they are and their personality. It's important to let people feel like no matter what they like or who they like or how they feel about a certain gender, I think it's important to make people feel good about themselves and love them no matter what. I don't care for the outside basically if I if you're someone who I feel like I want to get a connection with or something like that and I'm around you and I love your energy and your personality odds are things could go you know a good way it doesn't have to be boy or girl but yeah next question have I ever been with the opposite sex so basically Yes, I have been with other women and I've kissed other women and I've had connections with other women. I think it's very important to explore. I don't want to mislead people, obviously, but I think that it's important to explore your preference and what you want. If, like if you feel comfortable and like a certain person and you want to go for it, I say go for it. You shouldn't feel uncomfortable wanting to like a person just because of other people's opinion. If you are a girl and you like a girl and people are making you feel bad about it, do not listen to those people because guess what in the long run if you like a girl and you end up talking to that girl you like and you guys end up in a relationship or happy or vice versa guys too if you end up in a relationship with the guy you like you know it's going to be just you two in the end you and that person and love you guys share outsiders and their opinions do not matter literally you know if anything they're detrimental to what you want because if you're listening to an outsider's opinion 
then that could keep you from ever even, you know, taking that leap of faith and talking to that person. Do not listen to other people's opinions. They don't matter. So I've got her all potted up and ready to go. All right, so I've got a few more questions that I'm gonna answer. Basically, I just have this baby that needs to be potted left. So I have like this cute little thing. It's like a little cleaning caddy that you can carry your cleaning products and it has like this cute little handle or whatever. I'm sure you guys seen this in my Grove collaborative video. But I got this from Grove. It's literally meant to be a cleaning caddy, but I thought that it would be perfect as a flower pot. So I'm actually nervous because this is the plant that has two plants in it. There's like literally this side and this side. So I'm really nervous because I don't know how I'm going to pull this out of here without harming the plant. I'm kind of scared. So we're going to fill it with soil first. Okay, so this person says that he feels he's losing his girlfriend because he can't get her to climax and he doesn't understand why. So my question for you, something you want to ask yourself first before anything, is the thing that a lot of guys don't do or that they forget to do and aren't aware that they're doing is they forget to actually turn their girlfriends on or like do things to turn them on. You know, a lot of men expect women to do all of the work. Don't get me wrong, there are women who expect men to do all of the work too. My question to you is, are you doing that for her? Are you kissing her? You know, the usual stuff. I just think that it's very, very important. If that's something you're not doing for your significant other, make sure that you're doing that. Honestly, if you feel that way, like if you feel like you're losing her, I think that you should sit down and have a talk with her and let her know like, hey, I feel that I'm not giving you what I need to give you. And if I'm not, you know, tell me what it is you need and I can give that to you. My main thing when it comes to sexual partners is you need to communicate. You guys need to talk. You need to share moments with each other and you need to be comfortable when it comes to sex in general. You need to make sure that you guys are communicating to each other what you want and what you don't want out of it. If you're not comfortable with your partner or they aren't aware of what it is you want or don't want, you can't really be upset if they, you know, don't feel mutual about certain things. You have to make sure that you're communicating to them what it is you want and make sure that it's okay with them. It's just so loose. So now that that's done, I'm going to take the crystal off of the top because I don't want it to get buried. I'm going to back up a little bit so you guys can watch me do this. So, so far I got her in there. I just need to get some more soil. Anyways, like I was saying before, uh, but yes, to answer your question, you want to make sure you are giving her what she needs as well. If you feel like you aren't, communicate that with her and ask her what it is she does need. All right, you guys, so I officially potted my croton plant. Just like take a moment to look how beautiful. All right, you guys, so I pretty much potted all of my plants today. I didn't get to answer as many questions as I wanted to. Of course, there's so much more in depth that I could go into. I'm going to save that for another Q&A because I know you guys have personal questions for myself. All right, you guys, so I'm super excited because I finally got my plants potted. I just love these so much. I'm so happy that they're finally in new homes. So I'm super happy that I could talk about this today with you guys. I really feel that it's important to talk about these things. I'm really sad I couldn't answer more questions today, you guys. I didn't have too much time, so I answered what I could. I'm just happy I could pot some plants with you guys and talk today. I do plan on doing another Q&A, so if you want to, please feel free to leave questions down in the comments below and of course make sure you hit that bell button so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video but be sure to also hit the subscribe button if you liked my video you know you want to do it and so just go ahead and hit the subscribe button you guys anyways as I always say do a good deed today spread that lunar love and peace and love